Uh, Richie, I'm struggling here a bit because yesterday I said that I heard somebody <laughs> talk about Russia as the, the worst ever Russian team in living memory. Uh, today I said I heard somebody else talk about uh, Morocco as a, a, an underrated team, a team that could you know, surprise a few people in this competition. Do they look like a team that are going to surprise anybody? Morocco? Yeah. They were frustrating to watch because like we did, did a lot of work before the game to see what they were capable of. So we knew what some of the players have been doing domestically with their clubs or, or, or in Europe rather with, with their clubs. So they had the potential there to play a better standard of football, to have more quality particular in areas going forward. Ziyash in particular, we gave him the big build up beforehand. I think he was he disappointed a little bit. Um, Cabby centre forward up front, he didn't really make much of an impact at all. So um, they disappointed. I mean, you can assume that their opportunities or their chances of going out of this group now um, are almost zero. Their next two games yeah. are Portugal and Spain. So had either of these teams lost, we would have assumed that's their chances of qualifying gone. But um, remarkable result for Iran. Like We'll forget the game. The, the, the quality, if you want to call it that, was, was almost non-existent. It, it, it was cynical, it was slow, it was stop starting the second half. But again, like you said, in Iran, this is, this is historic yeah. stuff. This is memorable. This is, this is a generation-defining result for them. And, and Liam, all that sort of cynical play, um, like even the free kick at the end, the, the guy was kissing the football and taking his time, replaced the, repositioned the ball a couple of times. Like when, when you're on the field of play, though, and your opponents are doing that sort of stuff, like does that make you lose your composure? The way to sort it is just take the lead against them and then they have to hurry up. But, you know, do, do it, a culmination or an, well, an it accumulation... Looked like, it looked like they were a frustrated team, Morocco. Mm. They didn't never got into their stride. Um, I think it was demonstrated by the two wingers... Uh, Hamrit and Aramabat, they got in great positions either to get shots on target or good crosses in, um, but they didn't, you know, they, they, their delivery was poor or their finishing was rushed, uh, and they looked a frustrated team. Uh, Zayac, who we built up before the game, plays for Ajax, is, you know, makes loads of goals in the Dutch league, you know, yeah. never really showed. And I think that was down to the fact that the, the Iranians did, did their job and they were physical and the likes of Zayach uh, just didn't get any room to play.